John Fitzsimons uh, joins me now after his heat in the 800 metres. John, unlucky only just a second or so off. A very strange race. Talk us through it. Yeah, um, we figured there was no kind of nailed on front runner in the race, so we thought it might have been tactical. Uh, regardless of the pace early on, the plan was to stick or wait until the last 150 to kind of kick hard. And I probably followed the plan a bit too well and let one or two pass me early. And I closed well, but unfortunately, quarter second off the semis is still out of semis, you know. In comparison to the other heats we saw, the first lap was extremely slow. When you're going through that first 400, do you feel, I need to pick up the pace here? Do you know where you are? Well, like, I knew it was going to be a big burn-up because of, like you said, how tame the kind of second 200 was. But um, there's always a possibility it goes early. Uh, and, yeah, it ended up being a real last almost 100 burn-up, you know. And maybe if I positioned myself or was a little bit more aggressive early on, I might have been in a better position with 100 to go, but then I don't know if I would have held on, so I'm quite happy with how I raced it. Uh, you know, if I'm a quarter second off the semis this year, I just need to work for another year. <laughs> and is it frustrating as well when you see the time, you know you can run so much better than that, that you've come here and, and it's just not quite happening? Yeah. Well, look, I know I can run faster, but you have to be able to run a whole lot of different 800s in a championship, with different pacing uh, strategies if you want to go through the round, so it's just something we're going to have to work on, but... Yeah, I'm a better athlete than I was last year. I'll be a better athlete than I am now next year. So all eyes on Paris now. John, fingers crossed, and hopefully we do see you in Paris. Thank you very uh, much. Thanks again for talking to us.